Welcome to Geneva, home of the Geneva Watch Days since 2020, when a group of intrepid watchmakers got together to form one of the most exciting events of the second half of the calendar. During the next few days, we will be interviewing CEOs, collectors, and anyone that we bump into during the event to capture their impressions, and I'm sure we're gonna see some beautiful watches along the way. Follow me. The huge advantage of this fair is everybody can work with his own format. It's very informal, you know, we don't yeah. have these super official openings, we have a beautiful tent, we mm -hmm. have an exhibition, mm -hmm. it's a very relaxed atmosphere, it's still summer, it's still very yeah. warm, it's what we call in French la rentrée, so people are going back to work. Uh, and it's a, it's a nice restart of our business. Yeah. And many companies have different launches during the year. And this mm -hmm. platform here is perfect to present these products. Are watches truly the great asset class that we imagine? Well, let's talk. For the past three years, the Geneva Watch Days has grown both in size and in reputation, but it remains one of the most accessible events of the year, thanks to its laid-back vibe and its open doors policy for the public. Speaking of public, everyone is making their way to the pavilion right now for the official opening ceremony. <laughs> 